Yes, welcome back. This is JC Sako Show, your favorite gospel show in East and Central Africa. My name is Miriam Masava, and I'm with DJ Nix. And to Nendela on our inspiration vibe to Nendela, just where we left off last Sunday. Last Sunday, we began this love series, and we asked question. We asked guys, what love <laughs> means to you? And if someone just tells you love, is it enough for you? So we decided to break it down into three parts. Not that those three parts are not a defined love, but just to break it down into three parts for us to be able to understand actually the true meaning of love according to the Bible. Please not. This is according to the Bible, not the way the world defines love, but the way God defined love for us. And the first part the first part we looked at last Sunday was love is action. And uh, we read from the book of First John chapter 3 from verse 11 to 18. The same way today we are also reading from the same verses. And we focused majorly on verse 16 and verse 18. 18 verse 16 now now kumbusha to so that we catch up to shika to shikanisha sisi wote verse 16 is we need to love sacrificially eh, by emulating christ who laid down his life for us so we need to sacrifice our love okay uh, and verse 18 said uh, it emphasized that it urges us not only to love with words but instead put actions into our words because saying i love you can never be enough and is never enough so you need to put actions into your love so christ did Christ did not love us by, uh, by words only. Yeah? Christ went ahead and loved us with action by laying down his life for us. He has not died for us. We know Christ had, has no sin and is just perfect. But he laid down his life for us who are sinners so that we can have a new life. Okay, continuing to Nendelea Leo, our, <clears throat> our part two of love series is love is truth. Love is truth. From the book of First John 3, 11 to 18. God is love, you know. God is love. And he commands us to love one another. Because, you know, love, obedience, righteousness, those are just evidence of a believer. So, yeah? And if we have to emulate Christ, hey, we have to emulate Christ. Remember that Jesus delivered the truth in love. The way you deliver the truth, you do it in love, okay? So, the, for, for instance, let's look for an for example, because Christ gave us so many examples. If you read in the book of New Testament, the, 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 the whole book of, uh, in the Bible, the New Testament, you get to see many examples, various examples Christ gave us, just a, just a way he delivered the truth in love. For, for instance, the woman who committed adultery. He was caught committing adultery. And you know, the Pharisees and the law liked testing Jesus. They took, it to Jesus. they took her to Jesus and said, this one, according to the law, this woman is supposed to be stoned to death because he has, she has been caught committing adultery. Guess what Christ did? He went, if any of you has no sin, please let, be, let him or her be the first one to throw a stone and kill this woman. All of them left and he, he told this woman, go and sin no more. He knew, according to the law, this woman is supposed to be killed, but the way he delivered that truth, he did not come to condemn this woman. He came to love this woman. So he delivered the truth and told that woman, go and sin no more. Because you know what? I really love you. Another example is the Samaritan woman. You know, according to the Bible, according to those times, the Samaritan were not supposed to interact with you. But Jesus interacted with her and told her, go call your husband. This woman was like, I may I have no husband. Jesus knew. He, was, he said, yes, I know you have no husband, actually. You have been married five times with five husbands. And the current one you're living with is not even your husband. But go see no more. He in, the way he expressed the truth. He expresses it with so much love that you even live, you are just happy, you're not condemned, you don't, don't feel ashamed of yourself. He delivered the truth in love. You know, I came about this love series when I was doing my devotion in First John chapter 3, just First John, the entire of First John. And I would encourage you also to go read First John, do the, your devotion in the book of First John. And I was strongly convicted on how we treat others. We treat people around us. So how do you treat them? How do you treat them? Because most of us, when we to namse, we just avoid that person, we block them, to now blocking kama Facebook, Twitter, vile, vile bahati ye upenda kuimba. Una block Facebook, Twitter, everywhere. You avoid that person. But 
Is that the way Christ will love us to treat others? So if Christ is the best example and only example of what love is, eh, then, uh, then why, am I, why, why are we avoiding others? Why are we treating others just because issue? then we are blocking them? Eh? How comes when someone wrongs me, instead of approaching the disagreement in love and in truth, I avoid the person? Yeah, I have to sum our Bible from the book of First John uh, chapter 3, verse 11 to, to 18, but I will focus on verse 18, which says, Dear children, let us not love with words or tongue, but with actions and in truth. So we put our actions in our truth, okay? So we love genuinely, we love honestly, we love, we love with truth. Yes. So for you to understand this truth, you need to go back to the word and understand how did God love us from the beginning, from the present? How does God love us now? And how will God love us in the future? You need to understand God's love from how it is seen from the beginning, when it is seen now in the present, and how it is seen in the end, in the future. And you can use the same method even to deal with the issues. So umbekwaruzana namutu, it has a genesis, it has a foundation. Go back to the foundation, understand the genesis of that your disagreement and the issue handle it handle how will you how is the person feeling right now because of that issue that any mulikwaruzana maybe kitambo how is the person feeling right now and how what is the way forward of that issue so how you handle it you can emulate how god loves us from the beginning from the in the present and to the end okay in the future so everything god has spoken was true is true and will always be true okay <laughs> well, moving on so if we if i love somebody i want to love that person based on god's definition of truth and how do you know the definition going back to the word so word also go back and read to understand the definition of love from the bible not based on our human understanding because the world defines love differently that is not the way god wants us to love each other God wants us to love each other by going back to the Bible, to the truth, to understand what love is. So love is truth and only the truth of God. If I want to love you, not just in words, but in actions and in truth. So I want my actions to be based on the truth of God's love. So don't go anywhere. Next Sunday, to Tendelea, that marks of the end of love is truth. So next Sunday, to Tamalizia, the, our love series. Yes, I hope you've been blessed. Keep on interacting with us. If you have any questions, come on, my handle is Miriam underscore Masava across. That is Twitter and Instagram. Ask any questions if you have any. And I hope you've been blessed in inspiration by Nix. Yes. Mm -hmm. hey, Mina, as I add, kitu moja ni tunisema hivi, eh? Eh. you know, 